Well, good evening, folks. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on whereabouts you are. It's lovely to see you again, as usual. And it still blows my mind, you know, that you're here after all this time, still watching what a pick up for the family food shop for the week ahead. But it's much appreciated. And as long as you like coming over to have a nosy, I will continue to post these wee videos just to let you see what I'm picking up for the food shop. So as you can see, we've gone back to Morrison's this week. We really enjoyed it last week, so we've gone back again this week for another week, click and collect. But as you can see from the sky, it's quite a grey day. Still quite warm though, but yeah, quite grey and gloomy compared to last week. So yeah, this is Morrison's. This is our local Morrison's. This is quite a drive away from where we live, but yeah, worth it, I think. Well, when I say quite a drive, it's only about 15 minutes. We're not talking about hours or maybe 20 minutes but you just drive round the back of the store and there's wee sort of allocated parking bays you go in there and you, you use their app and you let them know that you're there and someone comes out and brings your shopping out to you and it's just ever so cute I love it it's like some sort of computer game or something it's yeah I'm rambling be quiet so this is the way your shopping arrives and you just sort of pack it into bags and pop it into the back of your car so it was just under 90 pounds because Mr Watts for tea went in and got an extra couple of things but the food shop I think was round about or just under 80. Let me just check and have a wee look. Yeah, 75 82 on the food shopping. And like I said, Mr. What's for Tea did go back in and pick up a couple of things that I'd forgotten to order. If you're new and this is your first time here, my name's Cheryl and it would be lovely to see you again. If you do like these kinds of videos, why not consider subscribing just before you leave? And I also do a wee recipe and, you know, a couple of other videos during the week as well. So yeah, do come back and let us see you again and comment down below and let let me know what you thought of this week's shopping. So this is everything that I got here. Quite a bit of fruit and veg or veg because I was just about out of everything and we put veg with everything as you'll know by now and a couple of new things in there as well. So these are the things that I picked up. So I've got my usual cheese. I've got quite a bit of cheese there so I just got some of the grated Red Leicester for a cheese sauce. A couple of packs of butter. I'm not really big on butter. I prefer the flora spread, but I've got some of that there. These wee yogurts were an offer. Two for £2 or they are £1.60 each. And I thought the honey sounded nice. Mr Watts for tea's trifle. So he gets the fruit cocktail ones, but he can also get the strawberry ones and the raspberry ones. But those are the ones that he likes. And we're not big bread lovers, but we've been doing our own bread in the bread maker. But we didn't have any or Mr What's For Tea forgot to make one this morning so I picked that one up and then some Maris Piper potatoes and a net of onions I don't know what I do with these onions they just disappear and then some peppers I'm going to be doing enchiladas so I'm going to use them for that and a wee salad as well some carrots because carrots go with everything and then some lettuce because lettuce also goes with most things and then some green beans just to go at the side of a dinner. And these apples, because I'm going to be doing candy apples as my Halloween video. So I was just going to do it just now, you know, film it and then uh, release it, obviously, nearer Halloween. Because I've never made them myself, but it looks super easy. Some vine ripened tomatoes and a couple of heads of broccoli. And these ones are huge. They aren't, you know, they're not normally as big as this. But yeah, if I'd known they were going to be that size, I'd have ordered one. And then a cauliflower, which the flip side is actually quite small. And I'll probably turn that into a cauliflower cheese because we've been loving that recently. Hooray, I managed to get a, sa a Caesar salad kit. I haven't managed to get one of these for a wee while. So yeah, fab. And then some bananas. I think there are four or five there. And I think bananas are brilliant value, you know, if you like them. But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. A can of corned beef because I'm going to be doing a corned beef hash at some point. Either that or just corned beef and mashed potato. That's a lovely combo. And then some ham cubes because I'm going to be doing some homemade soup, a pea and a ham soup. And then some baby new potatoes just for a change. And some bacon medallions. We like this on a sandwich or it's fabulous on toast. Now I was going to be doing a beef stir fry and these were not the steaks that I'd ordered. These are a substitution but I'm sure they'll be fine. This enchilada kit I thought I'd get this to try. We had the fajitas 
Well, I got the fajitas last week and we enjoyed them. So I thought I'd try that because I think they're going to be quite similar. This was one of the things that Mr. What's for Tea went back in for and the paracetamol. I don't know what that's for. I don't use it. And then some scones. I ordered the fruit scones, but they didn't have them. So that was a substitution. These Belgian buns I got last week and Mr. What's for Tea enjoyed them. So he's got those again. A six pack of baked beans. Again, I don't know what I'd do with the baked beans, but they just disappear. Then a two kilo bag of sugar. And then these dried peas are for the homemade soup that I'm going to be doing, the pea and ham soup. And then some decaf tea. Again, Mr. What's for Tea loves his Earl Grey, and I thought this was quite expensive, though. I don't know, you know, I don't remember it being as dear as that before. Maybe it's because it's decaf. A couple of cans of soup, just for a quick lunch for me, and these ones are nice and low calorie. And I have had these ones before. They're, they're quite small cans, but they're, they're okay for a lunch. And then some puff pastry. I'm going to be doing sausage rolls at some point, so yeah, I need to get some sausage meat from the butcher, but I'll use the pastry for them. Some passata. I like to pop this into sort of bulk out a pasta sauce or something, but it's handy just to have in the cupboard because you can't always get it in the glass bottle. Now, I've seen this and I was so intrigued. I'm like, well, what is this? I know it's jelly, so obviously you make it up with water, but the, the glitter aspect, I just had to pick it up and see what that's about. So I will take a picture and put it on my Instagram when I get round to making it. Some dishwasher tablets and these are the ones that I normally buy. This is the, the bigger bag and then some wee, cheat, some wee treats for our wee Jasper. And those are the ones that he gets. They're good for his teeth and gums. These gastro chips we haven't had for a wee while and some jacket potatoes as well. And then these wee vegetarian things. Me and Mr. What's for Tea are going to have these one night. It's just going to be me and him for a few of the nights. So I thought these looked quite interesting and they're vegetarian. And then we're going to be having these one night. These are the chip shop haddock fillets. We'll just have those with uh, mushy peas probably and chips and a wee bit of lemon. Some toilet rolls. Yeah, because everybody needs the toilet rolls. <laughs> and then Jasper's food. This is the one that he's been getting for the last few months and really enjoying it actually. And a wee cheeky can of Monster for me. So that was everything that I got in Morrison's and like I said yeah I feel as though I got an awful lot there for the money there are quite a few dinners there but I've also to get to the butcher for a few bits and bobs as well just before I move on and leave you I wanted to say a massive thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well and I need to get around to updating my channel member list which I'll be doing in the next couple of days because I know there's been some new channel members so welcome to you and thank you all for your ongoing support it does mean ever so much and thank you once again for your lovely messages regarding Jasper but he is back home now and back into his normal routine yeah we were ever so worried for 30 hours but yeah he's back and loving life and we're loving seeing his wee cheeky face again so I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or back on Sunday for meals of the week and we are under 2,000 subscribers away from my 100 a uh, hundred thousand subscriber giveaway milestone sort of giveaway type thing but I will tell you more about that when we get there it's going to be the biggest giveaway that I've had so far so yeah super excited for that and hopefully we'll get there before Christmas because it would be lovely to give somebody a wee boost just before Christmas so thank you all for staying on if you're still here and I'll catch up with you off a soon back here on What's For Tea bye for now bye